Very, very bitter defeat. Um, I'm not happy with the way we lost the game. I felt we played hard. I felt we competed hard. I just thought down the stretch it was taken away from us. We had three foul travel uh, traveling calls called on us and a couple of other silly calls. But at the end of the day, that's the way the game goes sometimes. And uh, I give credit to Sheffield and I wish them the best of luck in the championship. Yeah, I think we had a situation where Robert Youngblood and Mike Tuck got kicked out of the game. I think that fired up the Sheffield Sharks and they went 10 in a row, I think. Um, so we had to you know, stay mentally strong and then slowly come back, which we did and took the lead. We just didn't have enough down the stretch to do it when he counted. Yes, that's right. Mike Cook made an unbelievable bucket in the corner with four seconds on the clock. That was a three that put them up seven. All of a sudden, you know, it was three possessions instead of two and just a step too far for us. Two turnovers in the last two minutes and the game was gone. But, you know, I can't fault the guys for effort. They gave me everything they had and I'm really proud to have coached these guys this year. Yeah, I mean, the season started excellently for us. I think if we had stayed healthy, we would have been up there in the top two challenging for a trophy. We had the most horrendous amount of injuries. I feel so sorry for the guys because, you know, when you're injured, it's tough to be sitting on the sideline watching your team play. But when there's five of you injured on sitting on the floor, you know, it's so tough. The biggest thing we had to do was deal with the mental effect on the rest of the team of losing those games that we knew we should have lost, uh, we should have won. I mean, losing, you know, games to... To, uh, to Newcastle there, to Worthing. I mean, those are teams, in those games, had we been fully fit, we should have won those games. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, encourage the guys and, and, you know, really work on them as far as their, uh, their mental strength in terms of the way they came back from that. I'm really proud to have coached them, like I said earlier on, and I really have no complaints at all. Yeah, man, it was a little, we uh, let up on, on defense a little bit, but then, you know, we, as you see, we always fight back, so we didn't give up. To get to the semi, we got we got good leaders on the team like Mike Cook, you know, telling us in the locker room certain things we need to do, and we got Tiba, obviously the coach, and uh, and um, <laughs> stupid. and then we got John over there also assisting on the side when you come out of the games to tell us what to do, you know. So it's, it's a good staff that we have, and our players are all leaders too. With Tuck being you know new to the league and stuff, you know, young blood probably tried to test them, and then it, it probably got too far. But you know it's. Stuff like that shouldn't happen in the game because, you know, we're playing basketball. You don't want to do that in front of the fans and the kids to show, you know, like games like that. But, you I mean, stuff like that happens. We, it was already with all energy and then, you know, but, you know, we, as you see, 
the better team won. Yeah. You always got to fight back. I mean, I said last time, like, when you when somebody has the league, you're fighting harder than they are because they think they're comfortable. So, you know, you want to just keep fighting and going through because we have more to get. Yeah, it was a great win. You know, it was hard fought. You know, they're a tough team to be seven seed, you know. They got some good players, so it was good for us to come out in front of our home fans and, and continue this. This is, we call it the new season for us, you know, the playoffs. So, you know, we're trying to go and get to, to that May 8th game and win it all. So it's a good win. It was, you know, people played played well. A lot of people stepped up. There goes one of them, Perry Lawson. And uh, it was just good team effort. And, uh, you know, obviously Mike Cook was doing what he, you know, what he does normally. And, uh yeah, big win, big fourth quarter to go down and come back. You know, we, it's good to have our fans. They get behind us, so it helps us out a lot. Uh, it's my fitness is all right. It's just my left arm doesn't work too well. So, and I am left-handed. So, but I'll go out there, and it gets better each day. So, I'm getting a lot of good treatment on it. And uh, by next Friday, it should be even be ten times better than it is this week, which is a positive to get through this game. So, I should have all week to to get it. You know, hopefully back to a little bit normal and uh, be able to do what I normally do. It's frustrating not being able to, but I'll go out there and, you know, try and make some plays passing it and doing things like that and uh, helping them out whatever way I can until I can get healthy. Well, you know, they're a tough team. They're a playoff team. And it's a playoff, so you know everybody's going to step up. They're intense in the end. I mean, we just pulled it out at the end. You know, we were, uh, you know, Ryan's still not healthy. And, you know, a lot of guys stepped up for us. Uh, it took us a while for people to step up for us, but eventually we got it done. Uh, kind of. I mean, we was already fired up, but, you know, young blood. you know, he does that a lot. He's been doing that. He did that to us last game, so I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, I know Tuck is a, you know, intense player, so he's not going back down. And I wasn't I'm not sure what happened. I was on the other end, but it, it definitely got us going. I think it's room for improvement. Um, I think everyone, including myself, had to take it upon themselves to, you know, do better next game. You know, uh, we were up 13 to 15 in the second quarter. We should have extended that to about 25, and, you know, we didn't. So, you know, hopefully next game we'll capitalize on our opportunities. Yeah, like I said, we just had guys step up. Uh, Matt hit some big threes for us. Uh, Tap got some layups for us down low. You know, Perry made all the hustle plays for us in the end, got a couple layups, and, you know, I just did what I do, usually down the stretch, and, you know, it all came together at the end. I mean, I've been happy with my performance, not because of the amount of points, but because I've been getting better, you know, game by game. Uh, you know, my assists been going up every, every game, um, even though I have a lot of my assists. But, uh, you know, I just want to continue to get better and continue to, you know, do things that's going to make me a great player and make my team a great team. The fans have been great all season long. You know, they, they came out. Um, we didn't see as many fans in the beginning. But, you know, once we started winning, which is natural, but once we started winning, we started selling things out. And, you know, they've been great all year. They've been very supportive. Uh, you know, they help us through a lot of games. Even today, they helped us through the, through the fourth quarter. Um, you know, it's a lot of times when you're tired and, you know, the fans really pick you up. So, you know, we're very thankful for the fans. Yeah, um, MLK, uh, M MK Lions always uh, tough. You know, they're a very physical team. And like, like I've said before, they're similar style to us. They keep it in the half court and like to uh, scrap. Excuse me. And, um, you know, tonight we went up back and forth. We got some transition points. And defensively, we kind of broke down in the, in the first, second quarter. A little bit in the fourth, but uh, you know we did enough. We did enough, but we have to pick it up for next week. This was wasn't one of our stronger performances this season. I think uh, defensively we didn't we didn't execute our principles, and offensively, um, you know we, we had our moments where you could see brilliance, and then we just had some moments where it looked like chaos. So we got to neaten that up and uh, get back on the on the drawing board. Yeah, I think so. I think it, it did, but um, you know I missed what happened. I just thought it was scrapped a little bit, but um, uh, that's basketball, you know. It's playoff time, his emotions are high, guys want to win. You know, if you lose, this is it, and uh, probably got the best of them a little bit. Um, like I said, we played probably 25, 30 minutes of good basketball and too many stretches of poor basketball. Um, you know, this, this, this time of year, we can't afford that, especially since we've been, this is the end of the year, we should be uh, well adjusted to each other and needs to be picked up a little bit. Absolutely fantastic, and the news came in just a few minutes ago that the Eagles had won, so they're going on, and their game was a lot easier, probably not as interesting as this one. But this was a great game of playoff basketball, because at the end of the season, teams in the playoffs go to another level, and both the Sharks and the Lions did that tonight, and it was awesome. A win in the end, and they had to work hard, it has to be said. But the Lions played a magnificent game tonight. Yorick Williams and EJ Harrison, what a backcourt. Guys nailing threes. Yorick hit a three so far out. It was, in my opinion, beyond NBA range. It was great. But it was a great game. It was playoff basketball. There's no doubt about it. The Lions came into town knowing exactly what they had to do. They